So Jeff just dropped us off here at uh, the Fontana Dam. Ashley is uh, taping her feet right now and then we're going to hit the trail. So we're going to get started and then uh, All Good and Trainwreck are going to meet us down the trail a bit. They can't get the first shuttle from the village until 9 o'clock and it's about, I think, a little after 8 right now. It is not nearly as cold as I expected, so it should be a really good day. It's supposed to warm up into the mid-50s. <laughs> that was our ride going back the other way. So um, Anyway, it should be a beautiful day for hiking. We're going to do about 12 miles and really uh, looking forward to getting into the Smokies. So right over there is the entrance to the Smoky Mountains National Park. I'm just on the other side of the dam. You can see the entrance there to the Fontana area. I'm in the Smokies. This is the bottom of my permit. And this is the box that goes in. It has a permit here. I carry the other half with me. And it's not full today. They must have cleaned it out. <laughs> I'm official! Yay! We have some nice views of the lake and the dam as we're walking along up here. And uh, you can kind of see the dam through the trees right in there. Uh, I guess with spring coming, there's a lot more, well, it's hard to see lots of leaves on the tree, but they're getting there. But uh, anyway, it's pretty just to look down, even though it doesn't show up great on the video. Uh, enjoying just looking down and all around as we go through our first day in the Smokies. We're getting up to higher elevation and there's still a little bit of snow here from yesterday. It's supposed to get up in the 50s today, so I think that it's not gonna last definitely not past this evening. I'll be gone by lunchtime. It's kind of neat to see the snow up here, but it makes me wonder if I was too much of a wimp waiting it out yesterday in the comfort of a B&B. Uh, I'm kind of really wrestling with the zero days and taking time off for weather and things like that versus trying to get the miles done. It's a battle for me. I want to make good progress, but I don't want to push too hard. And I'm a little, a little wary about my quilt, my sleep setup, just because I got it right before I left and I haven't tested it down into the 20s and the teens. Eventually I'll get there, but I have to admit that I'm letting that uh, Fear getting my way a little bit, as well as that kind of need to uh, stick together with Ashley and some of the other folks that we've met that we've been hiking with. So it's funny how these things kind of get in your head and you wrestle with those decisions, trying to figure out what's the right thing to do and how to keep hiking your own hike. Hopefully, eventually, I'll figure all that out. So I come around a bend and I see a view like this and I feel a little vindicated, a little less wimpy for taking an extra day off because if I was out here yesterday I would not have seen any of that. Look how beautiful it is. And then right behind is this incredible rock with just ice and water coming down and really cool plants. There's some little ones over here that are just red and green and beautiful. Look at these rock formations. They're really neat. I hope I don't hurt myself coming down here. Oh, that's so cool. Especially with the snow and the ice melting. Oh wait, I missed that. Darn it. How was it? <laughs> we are here at the Shuck Stack. Supposedly some of the best views in the area. But 
the stairs are icy, rickety, scary. So I'm not climbing, but some of our brave friends are. And over here looks like the foundation of a house. I guess somebody must have lived up here at some point. Seems like a pretty windy place for home. The views are nice. So this is <laughs> our lunch spot today and our friends went up um, that way. I went to, but up to see the shuck stack, which is pretty cool, but it was cold up there, really cold, and because of the snow, the steps were icy, and it's already rickety and kind of in disrepair, so I opted not to climb the tower, but I got some pictures, and uh, nice seeing everybody here. It's the most hikers I've seen together in one place, so I guess the bubble is catching up with us. So it's been a long day today. I am down to the last, I don't know, mile and a half or so to the shelter. And I'm a little anxious about what we're gonna find. It's after five now. And uh, a lot of people passed us today. So we're really wondering if we're gonna be able to tent. I'm sure the shelter's gonna be full. I God forbid they send us on to the next one because I'm exhausted. I don't know that I could do another three and a half miles, but hopefully we'll be there soon and we can see. Taking pictures of Tent City. <laughs> Get a picture of me in my tent. Gotcha. Say hey. <laughs> the Molly's Ridge Shelter. First one in the Smokies. It is jam packed. made it to the shelter this evening. It was a really long, tough day for me. Um, yeah, <laughs> it was been a while since I've done 10 miles and I had a lot of, lot of weight in my pack, so that was kind of challenging. But it's interesting to see the shelter here and all the people and just people having a good time, getting ready for bed, excited to be in the Smokies. And uh, I'm just enjoying watching the sun go down and kind of a quiet moment, not super quiet with all the noise going on behind me, but a bunch of people, you know, younger people want to party and have fun and make a fire and do all that kind of stuff where a bunch of other people have already gone to bed for the night, but everybody does their own thing, which is pretty cool.